figure skating was invented by the ancient Scandinavians in 3000 BCE in Finland. It was then modernized by Jackson Haynes, who was a ballet dancer in Europe, in the 1860s. Figure skating was officially established when the International Skating Union was founded in 1863 in Norway. In 1882, the first international figure skating competition was held in Vienna, Austria and it was then introduced to the Olympics in 1908. Firstly, figure skaters need to find a place to train. Not all ice arenas can do the training, some only for recreational skating or for ice hockey while other rinks may be geared especially for figure skating. Next, find the right coach who is patient, professional and passionate about molding and teaching skaters. Figure skaters need to set a schedule for everyday practice that includes cardiovascular training and dance classes. Figure skaters need to practice for at least 3 to 4 hours every day. There are three types of training which are freestyle session training, cardiovascular training and choreography training. Here is an example of training schedule. The length of competition for figure skating was according to its categories, which are individual, pairs, ice dancing and team events. For single short program, the performance lasts for 2 minutes and 50 seconds while free skate single lasts for 4 minutes 30 seconds for men, and 4 minutes for women. Pairs short program's performance is 2 minutes 50 seconds long, and free skate pairs skaters perform for 4 minutes and a half. For the ice dancing, the short program is 2 minutes 50 seconds long and the free skate lasts for 4 minutes. Figure skaters must eat a healthy and balanced diet. They require enough calories to fuel the quality of training and competition. Skaters should eat when they feel hungry and focus on fueling before, during, and after the training session. Choose nutrient-dense foods that rich in vitamins and minerals. Next, choosing 5 to 6 small meals rather than 3 large meals. It is recommended for skaters to take 5 serving of vegetables daily and choose fats from plant sources. Many figure skaters fall short on meeting some of their vitamin and mineral needs especially calcium, vitamin D, and iron. Skaters should take adequate vitamin D daily to reduce injury occurrence and prevent respiratory illness during on ice. During the preparation phase, it is the perfect time to build muscle so. For those who wants to build muscle will need to eat more calories and adequate protein. During the competition, skaters should keep their meals habitual and eat adequate amounts of carbohydrate before skating. Stay away from sugary cereals, bread, and sweets. It also important to stay hydrated all day. During the transition phase between seasons, the focus is on maintaining healthy food habits. Lastly, ensure proper recovery nutrition within 30 to 60 minutes after workouts. Plan the post-exercise recovery snacks such as yogurt and fruits to restore glycogen. 
A full day of training requires a meal centered on lean meat packed with muscle repairing protein but keeps saturated fat to a minimum. Moving on to the next part which is the biography of Julian Yi. His full name is Julian Yi Zhi Yi. He is 24 years old and his born date is May 26, 1997. He is currently his 1.67 meter height and weighs 60 kilograms. Julian Yi is the Malaysian figure skater. He is a healthy man with no disease and he is currently performing an active lifestyle. For his activity pattern, during lockdown, Julian Yi received Zoom lessons from his coach and did some virtual workout. Julian Yi described his activity patterns into three categories. During training season, he usually experimenting new jumps and elements and finalizing the choreography. Next, he trains at lower intensity during competition season to prevent any injuries. Lastly, during off-season, all the players take some time from training before the training season begins. Next, for his educational background, Julian Yi learned to skate at the age of 4 at Sunway Pyramid Ice Rink, Malaysia. His coach was Harry Janto Leo. He and his brothers were introduced to skating by their mother, Irene. He received his early education at Sri Kuala Lumpur for five years. In 2017, Julian Yi completed his degree at Sunway University under American Degree Transfer Program ADTP. Next, he graduated in Business Management at the York University, Toronto, Canada. The energy requirements for Julian Yi is 2448.11 kilocalories. Based on Mifflin St. G or equation, he needs 306 grams carbohydrates, 123 grams of proteins and 82 grams fats per day. This is the distribution table for Julian Yi before competition. This is the one day menu plan for Julian Yi before the competition based on the distribution table. This is the macronutrients and micronutrients contents based on the menu plan for Julian Yi. This is the distribution table for Julian Yi on the competition day. Attached here is the one day menu plan for Julian Yi on the competition day. This is the list of macronutrients and micronutrients contents based on the menu plan for Julian Yi on the competition day. This is the distribution table for Julian Yi after the competition is over. Attached here is the one day menu plan for Julian Yi after the competition is over. As you can see here, this is the list of macronutrients and micronutrients based on the menu plan for Julian Yi during the post-competition.